Hey YouTube, how we doing today? Well, <laughs> today's video is gonna be really, really different. We've got Mike the Cops, you can't make this stuff up. I know, right? Small book, but still, it is funny as all get out. So stay tuned after we roll that intro. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about this one. Alright YouTube, thank you so much for staying past that intro. Now, for you first time viewers of the channel, I want to thank you so much for viewing this video. Look, I know you got a lot of options out there and I'm very grateful you chose one of mine. Now, for you first time viewers of the channel and you long time viewers who have yet to subscribe, here's first chance. Take a look right down here, gonna be a little channel symbol popping up. Go ahead, click on that or hover over it, whatever it takes to pull up subscribe. Knock it out the way because man, trust me, we're growing, we have a goofy amount of fun on this channel and I want you along for the ride. Alrighty guys. So if you don't know who Mike the Cop is, he is an actual law enforcement officer who does a lot of YouTube work and a lot of social media work to help humanize the badge. He doesn't pull any punches when there's an officer involved screw up. He'll be the first to go after the cops and go after them and go after training for them and go after everything. He's the first to call them out. But when you have other people who are, how should we say, less than pleasurable about certain things, you know, not mentioning any names, Sean King, you know, I never mention any names, Sean King. I would never, ever, ever mention any names, Talcum X. He's also the first to help defend the cops. Now, Mike has a lot of great YouTube content. Seriously, go find him, Mike the Cop. You're going to enjoy what you see. So what he did, and as you know, you can see there on the back, one of the questions cops get a lot other than did you shoot somebody is well what's your funniest story mike reached out to officers you know basically worldwide and went gimme and he put a lot of them in here let's see i think the msrp on this was it's under 20 bucks all right and it's not a huge read it's like 124 pages okay and they go everywhere. I mean, it's things like, uh, what was it back here? Like at the very end of the book, it was like a bonus thing. 54 times weird things were found in pockets. One of them was like a bowl of soup. Another was a mummified frog. You know, I'm like, what? You know? Or in here, it's like a Polaroid picture of a penis. The guy wanted me to throw it away before he was booked, but he made sure to tell me, don't worry, it's not mine. <laughs> it's like, that makes it any better? I mean, what the heck? You know, um, there was a great story in here about how fire department showed up to help put out a fire that a guy started. So the guy who started the fire, he was running around trying to prevent the fire department from doing everything and, you know, trying to block him and let the house burn, let it burn, let it burn, let it burn. So an off-duty cop was driving by and saw it. He got out of his car, deployed his taser, took the guy down. He was like, was that so hard? I'm like, I don't know what's worse. The fact that the fire department couldn't subdue this guy or an off-duty cop had to take him down. You know, I'm just like, what the heck? Ugh. I... It's an incredible read. Seriously, it really, truly is. Look right here. I'm searching the guy on a DUI stop and found a bag of weed in his pocket. He doesn't miss a beat and said, not my coat. I informed him he wasn't wearing a coat and it was in his jeans pocket. Resolved his fate. Resolved his fate. He went, oh. I mean, <laughs> what the heck? You know, I just, I was called to a drunk guy passed out in the lobby of a drugstore. I arrive, kick his feet to wake him. He woke up, looked me dead in the eye, and shaked his shakes his shoulders and says, Shake it, baby, shake it. Because he thought he, the cop was a stripper. I'm like, wow. Oh, my God, that's great. You know, I was sitting in the van with six tactical officers waiting for a drug deal to go down so we can do a vehicle assault and take them down. When the time finally arrived, the tensions were high. The driver reached for the emergency brake release, but pulled the hood release instead. <laughs> In a monotone voice, one of the senior officers went, this is no time to check the oil. It's just... <laughs> ah. 
it's full of stories like that. It, it just it's full of incredible stuff. You really truly want to read this. <laughs> just I responded to a burglary call and entered the apartment to find the suspect inside trying to eat a handful of chocolate cake. I told her she was under arrest and she asked if she could at least finish the cake. In my best Seinfeld soup Nazi voice, I knocked the cake out of her hand and went, no cake for you. And by the way, just because I said Nazi, I know I'm going to get demonetized, but eh. it's just, it's a funny flipping book. I, I just, wow. How we roll in Canada. Well, what do you do when a 150 pound sheep is running loose in traffic? Well, in Canada, you get a Mountie and a couple other cops to chase it around for a while, drive alongside it, hit it with a taser, and then sit on it and pose for pictures that make its way to the national headquarters. But not before it was already published in the news. The officers literally had to sit on the sheep until animal control arrived as it was still squirming around. <laughs> I What's going on, E? Oh, my God. I Sorry. Seriously, I read it in like a couple hours. It's an immense read. The heart, the reason it took me so long is I was laughing so hard reading this thing. Seriously, I just couldn't stop laughing. I, wow. But I'd like to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, whatever down below. Especially like, do you watch Mike the Cop on YouTube? You know, have you read this book? Would you recommend this book to anybody? You know, do you have any funny law enforcement stories that you want to share? Hey, let's have some more fun with this, you know? I know it's a weird one, but then again, my channel's kind of weird with stuff, so that just kind of fits right in, you know? But for you first-time viewers of the channel, yeah, we're going to do the wrap-up. Thanks so much for watching this one. Like I told you in the beginning, we do things really, really differently here, and yeah, this one's just... <laughs> yeah. Oh. But... If you first timers didn't subscribe at the beginning of the video and you long time viewers who have yet to subscribe man take a look right down here you'll see a big channel symbol popping up go ahead click on that thing it's going to bring you right to subscribe after you've gone ahead and knocked that out the way please destroy the bell icon why great question I'm going to notify you my amazing viewer every single time this channel uploads a brand new video now speaking of videos two are going to be popping up over here those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from a catalog that they think are going to be a great viewing experience for you. Guys, I swear, if you want a really, really funny read, go get Mike the Cops. You can't make this stuff up. Thanks for watching, and I hope all of you have a great day today.